Welcome back to the Ocali Film Room. Chris Becker joined here by Sudeep Tuma. Uh, we're here to break down three plays from Oklahoma State's 55-3, to um, what's the word, walloping of Kansas? Uh, it was not close, but here are three plays that we have for you. Uh, this first play, it's going to be first and goal, 555 left in the first. Still scoreless, one of the few times this game that that was the case. Uh, and still tied, too. Uh -huh. uh, Sanders takes a snap. He, uh, will, he and Warren will both roll out right. And Sanders is going to keep it and trot into the end zone with a little high jump there at the end to uh, break the tie and give OSU the lead that it will never surrender. Sadiq, break it down. Yeah, so here you're going to see the read option game. Uh, the speed option to the outside with Sanders and Warren going, like you said. But it's really the blocking. The three guys on the right, Braden Cassidy, uh, Preston Wilson, and Hunter Woodard. That's what you're going to watch. But first, just watch Sanders. Watch just the athleticism between him and Warren, right? They go out to the right, and there's one man to beat. Gavin Potter, number 19 for Kansas, who's, who's one of their be better, probably best uh, defensive player. And here it's just a beautiful fake. You see that there? Mm -hmm. And... And this is it's a simple option, right? It's two on one right here, right here, two on one. Either he hands it off, or, or rather tosses it to Jalen Warren, or he goes in, and he fit, and he handles it beautifully. Instead of passing it out and having Potter run after Warren, he makes a beautiful fake and just trusts his athletic ability and goes in. So now you watch the back side of it. Um, here, Braden Cassidy on the right side on the strong side, he's gonna make a nice block over there. But first, watch watch Woodard and Preston Wilson on the right side. They clamp off on 98 and 99 and seal them off, and then Braden Cassidy over here. You watch him, he comes in here and makes a great block on Rich Miller. And he completely, you see that here, right? I mean, obviously we see Sanders, Potter, and Warren over there. But you just watch Cassidy, right? This is this is what he's been doing all season long and the impact he's had. You watch that block and completely opens it up for Sanders. And there's nothing, <laughs> he's just completely mm -hmm. open, right? And that that's, this is the underrated part that, you know, people aren't going to see most of the time. And, you know, Braden Cassidy there makes a great block and gets in there. Right, it's a numbers game and 2v1 for the offense is always a, always a, pro, a positive for that for that side of the ball, whether that be, you know, Oshie on offense or if it was Kansas. But uh, going on to this next play, it's going to be the ensuing drive. Uh, Kansas quarterback Jason Bean going to drop back. It's chased out of the pocket by, I believe, Jaden Jernigan. Uh, will overthrow his intended target or underthrow the other receiver and right into the hands of Jason Taylor the second, who, as always, shockingly, makes a play. Sadiq, what, what did you see from this one? Yeah, you're right. Jason Taylor up there, he's going to be the one uh, lurking, making a play. But he's not even breaking the ball, right? He's just in good position. Mm -hmm. and, and he always just seems to be around the ball. But yeah, first we turn our eyes to the defensive line. Jaden Jernigan, like you said, up at the top of the screen. Him, Sioniasi, and Cody Walter I believe, are on the line. And Colin Oliver, right, who's done a tremendous job with both Trace Ford and Brock Martin out. He's taken over that Leo position. And we talk about that Leo so much, right, that hybrid linebacker, defensive end. Um, who lines up all over it, all five techniques, or excuse me, all nine techniques, whatever you want to label it as, at linebacker, he's everywhere, right? And you see him here. He's just going to act as a QB spy watching Jason Bean, but it's Jaden Jernigan who's going to come with an intense swim move. Watch this. He just gets in there, and he applies pressure, and it's him, and now Colin Oliver's chasing after, and Jason Taylor. But it's the uh, backside of this play. We watch it from this angle, right? Watch where he is, right? First off, Jaden Jernigan's a defensive tackle, right? And obviously mm -hmm. he's not the biggest one. He's no Cam Murray, not even Israel Antoine. But he, for whatever he lacks in size, he's got great athletic ability and um, just technique for a defensive tackle. And you watch him here, he's lined up on the outside. And he's just like, this is this is like textbook swim move because he, 68 does not even get his hands on Jaden Jernigan. Watch him, watch how fast he gets there. And it's almost like he's sizing up uh, the left tackle like you mm -hmm. see in basketball, right? Sizing up your man. Watch him here with the first few feet. Swims and go. And from there, you watch Colin Oliver too, right? Mm -hmm. Number 30, right at the top of the screen. It's him too, because obviously Jernigan's behind, but Jason Bean is a very fast player that few are going to catch. But watch Colin Oliver up there. He's just watching Jason Bean the whole time, and as soon as he sees him scramble, he's there. And because of that, Jason Bean sees Oliver pursuing him and closing in, and he has to for and it forces an errant throw, where he has number two, I believe, mm -hmm. um, somewhat open. You can probably pass it at worst, it's incomplete, but because there's so much pressure on him, it forces a sort of errant throw over the top, and Jason Taylor's in perfect position. Yeah, and then, you know, it's, it's almost like the, the left tackle gave gave Jordan Jernigan, Jernigan a little pat on the back for like, you know, oh, yeah. yeah, go right on and pat me, because it's the only time I'm going to touch you. Yeah, and, and that's what starts the play, really, because mm -hmm. you talk about interior pressure. Obviously, pass rush from the outside is effective, but when you have interior pressure, a guy coming straight at you, it's a nightmare for a quarterback because mm -hmm. you, you try to go sideways, you're running into a guy, you're, you're, <laughs> you're trapped around all these guys, and Jernigan just does an excellent job, and he's really the catalyst of this play. Right, and the... A big saying in coaching staffs is tips and overthrows, and then the the defense or you know the opposing player or the offense will say you got to have those. And 
this one had a little bit of both. It was both overthrown right. and tipped, and Jason Taylor, he had it. Yeah. So uh, going on to this next play, still in the first, first quarter because, you know, this game was only close in this quarter. Uh, Sanders will take the snap, find Brennan Presley on a little Patriots-esque uh, pick route, and uh, he's going to get in the touchdown uh, in the flat and make it 17-0 for OSU. Yeah, and that's that's the uh, thing, right? Some people call it pick plays, some people call it a rub plays, some people call it legal, some people call it illegal. But first, let's look, look at the numbers, right? Top of the screen, you have two on two, right? Clearly single coverage. And watch this box. You have nine people mm -hmm. stack around that line of scrimmage. Now, uh, OSU is going to run an RPO where you're going to see like an inside zone split uh, toward the left. And if not, Sanders is going to tuck it and pass it. And he looks at the numbers. He, you've got a clear advantage. Brendan Presley in the slot against uh, safety Ricky Thomas, who's playing off coverage. And Tate Martin does a great job selling this. Um, the, obviously, he's setting a pick, but <laughs> he looks like he's turning around to catch a pass. But watch, yeah. So watch it first, right? Sanders takes a snap. Obviously, um, no handoff there. Sanders knows he's throwing it. And watch Brendan Presley. Just sets him up and goes to the outside, right? And look, Tate Martin, right? Sets up into his, his cornerback, and there's nothing. There, there, mm -hmm. there's just too much traffic for Ricky Thomas to get around. So you watch Presley, and he goes to the outside, makes a simple pass. Easy play, right? That's, just, that's simple design plays. You know exactly what you're getting. But like I said, all the elements of it. You're not playing up on Presley. He, he uses his quickness, immediately mm -hmm. gets out, and good drive on the ball, and pass it out there. Yeah, you know, and Tay Martin, he's got some, he's got history of blocking out men. He he had a couple of D one basketball offers, including New Orleans and Tulane. Man. So you know, he, he had a history of you know a yep. little block out <laughs> rebound right there, there yep. in the end zone, and Brent Presley got it, and he he got the rebound as he would, yeah, and exactly. he caught the touchdown and fought his way in. You know, Brent Presley, he he may be small, but he he's, he's strong. So, yep. and good. and that's yeah, that's that's it, right? I mean, it's just good play design, understanding the numbers, and uh, being able to just uh, make the throw. A simple, mm -hmm. easy read. Yep. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Chris Becker, Sadiq Tuma for the Okali Film Room Live, again in the archive room. We'll see you guys next week.